A Scottish knight fighting for the English offered to outflank the Scots at a ford further north, but Hugh of Cressingham convinced Surrey that it was best to order a frontal attack to save time and money. After a series of delays in the attack, on September 11 the English vanguard began the crossing of the bridge with heavy cavalry led by Sir Marmaduke Fleng. When the Scots saw that the English were preparing to cross the river, they descended to the plain and positioned their pike-armed men in close formation with the cavalry on one flank. The narrowness of the wooden bridge prevented the English from quickly crossing to the other side of the river, but Wallace held back his men, eager to engage. He waited until a third of the English army crossed and at that time the battle began firing the archers first. Then the Scottish spearmen descended the high ground in rapid advance and repulsed the charge by English heavy cavalry. 